Being diagnosed with diabetes can be one of the most horrifying news one can receive. It was for 18-year-old Nairobi Kenya Cortez. I was in standard three when I found out that I was diagnosed with this condition. It was like a very sad moment to me because I was not aware of what it was, of what you know this disease or condition is all about. And I was afraid that, okay, like, will I die? Will I survive? How would I cope with this condition? And to me, it was bad at first, but after a while, you would get to know more and you at least get some relief, even though it is a serious condition. Cortez has been living with type 1 or juvenile diabetes for eight years. It was during those eight years that Cortez had to adjust to living with diabetes. She has experienced seizures caused by hypoglycemia or low blood pressure. There are many young men and women like Cortez, and some of them are gathering in Belize City for one week camp organized by the Belize Diabetes Association. The camp is being held under the team, empowering and educating youths on managing diabetes. Basically, they need to learn healthy eating. That's our number one, healthy eating. Eating daily fruits, vegetables, drinking enough water on a daily basis. Also taking their insulin, because with living with type 1 diabetes, they take their insulin twice a day. So they need to learn how to take their insulin and also because this will be for the rest of their lives. So they really need to learn how to cope with it on a daily basis. 32 diabetic patients from different areas of the country are participating in the camp. These patients experience their unique challenges, but common to most is access to medication. We have kids who um, they don't have the, the proper financing to buy their insulin on a, every day so it's very expensive so what we do at the association we provide them with the insulin and then when we don't have it then we um, they need to purchase it but we have a program named insulin insulin for life where we get donations from international companies that they donate the insulin to them so when they don't ship like well you know shipping takes a um, time so whenever we don't have the insulin then they purchase it but most of the time um, we have it to provide to them. How important is it for these kids at their age to have a support, to have their family, to have their best friend or their brothers and sisters beside them? It's very important because without that support, then most of the time they end up eating things that they're not supposed to eat on a daily basis and that's the thing that always the sugar goes high, then they, um, they're hospitalized, so we, they need that support. So with the association, with parents, friends, co-workers, anyone, schools, we, ask, we just basically ask them to give them that support. And that support goes a long way, especially during diagnosis. For Cortez, living with diabetes has become a norm, and it can be for all diabetic patients. Do not panic. Don't say it's the end of your life. Don't say, oh, I can't have junk food. I can't do this and that. That will be the first thing that comes to your mind. I think it comes to every single one of us. But I would say to never panic when you hear you have diabetes. Just stay calm and you would find that you can still live a happy and normal life, whatever you choose to do. Travel, do whatever you want. Just know your limits and you would be perfectly fine. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.